Hello everybody, welcome to Google Maps. No, this is Buffalo Brotherhood, I'm Ryan. We are going to play a little sailing simulator, so I thought I'd plot out our course. Uh, here's what I'm looking at. Uh, this is Sydney. Now all these marks are not necessarily notated on Google, on the, um, on the game, so that's why I thought I would bring them up here. Uh, we're going to leave here from about the King Street Wharf, and we're going to go this way. Over would be the bridge, or under the bridge. And around the famous Sydney Opera House and then come over here and then we'll we would berth over here by Miss McQuarrie's chair I don't know how long it's gonna take and I'm not really sure if the winds are right but we're gonna do our best and see what happens I thought to bring it all the way into Potts's point but I think if we get to the chair we'll be okay and it's part of the Royal Botanic Gardens which looks really cool and if you ever if you live in Australia or whatever uh, you can let me know how it is uh, but we're sitting here in the irons right now. This is as close as what we could sort of um, look into. So, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous the fact that we're sailing directly into the wind. In fact, maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, we can try zigzagging back and forth a little bit, try to get out of this channel. I, I don't know. We may not be able to do that. Um, but we'll see. And then, uh, or we can just pretend like we have a motor. Because I can't really, I can't really zoom in too much. Where you see how narrow this path is. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you're looking at that, if you're looking at that map, uh, Sydney Opera House was right here, across from the Botanical Gardens. And then there's a road that's out here. Of course, none of that stuff is there, but uh, we know it's there. So let's see what happens if we raise the mainsail. Um, wind is only four miles an hour. This is going to take forever. Um, uh, main hit the yard. It's actually been a while since I played. Uh, had, a, had a trip to Washington, D.C. I was going to do something from there. Um, but I just really couldn't... I don't know. Well, actually, what it was is I, it's dark out right now where I'm recording so uh, I didn't want to record just in the dark at DC so hopefully maybe we can get it next time okay let's see if we can get a little bit of wind here move in one direction or another okay we're still at 15 degrees Try going the other way. With this true wind angle, it would be anywhere between, uh, was it 45? Sort of 45 degrees or above. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm getting a little bit of wind there. Let's get to Genoa. I'm going to unfurl that. And pull it pretty tight. Trying to get the flap out of it. Can't get it to go any tighter. There we go. Three miles an hour. We're moving now. We sort of have to zigzag our way all the way out of this channel. Now you might say, Ryan, why bother when none of this stuff is here? I don't Oh, And apparently we ran out of ground. Ran out of ground. Uh, where's it going to put me? Put me way back here. Let's just move up here. Alright, there we go. We're at the mouth of the King's Point. We're going to tack this direction. Return to the, what, that starboard? <laughs> I 
The sail is just moving. Pulling it in. Okay. The wind behind us like this a little bit, the Janaker is the way to go. to mess with. to use the trim page because I just can't see it. Okay. I'm the same with the main. I mean, this is the only one that's not flapping. Use the outhaul. Use the Cunningham. Pull the vein. I don't know. It looks to be pretty good to me. Is that lightning? Looks like pretty clear skies to me. Two miles an hour. We're booking right along. Okay, well. Um, I don't know if you guys, if this is a good idea or not. This sort of, this sort of, you know, real world plotting out different places to sail or or what um, obviously sort of the state of the game is that you know they're gonna update things as they get them I did see that they have changed it so now that they're using a uh, what you want to call it like a uh, they got everybody on Steam now the universe they sort of I don't want to say universalized it but they just sort of Got everybody on the Steam Edition to, to help their workload a little bit. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. If I click this, there we go. Good. Um, I'm going to check real quick. Weekend Races was there. Zero point nine zero zero five went active. That was on the twelfth, though that was ten days ago. I think that was just the races as they fixed. Yep, buoy fixing and things like that. I just want to make sure that I <coughs> that that all the things that have been answered have been answered. A lot of people are asking questions about North Pole. Changing sailing, or changing boats, adding new boats, things like that. Nothing of real major interest there. I mean, the waves are real calm here. Inside the inlet here. 
Australia. I wonder how often people sail in Australia. Seems like it'd be a pretty like popular sailing place. Let's see. This is the buoy we can see on this side. This is Blues Point there. The other one must be sort of obscured. Or is it floating up there? I think it's floating up there. It's telling me to use the Janaker now. I think we're good where we are, brother. I'm not 100% sure, but... I mean, this is like VFR sort of flying here. We're just trying to use the coast as sort of our map. Other than that, not much else really to do. Sydney's Cove, Paul's Point, looks like Campbell's Cove, Burnlong's Pass, Burnlong's Point, I mean. check and see what the tip thing says it says use the Genoa as well okay well here what we'll do we'll put the Genoa on we'll watch the speed just because not much else is really going on um, okay Genoa is good putting the Janaker up What was it, 2.4 miles an hour? That's what I think it was. Just three miles an hour so far. Uh, three instead of two, so maybe there was something to that. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a great week. I am. Uh, trying to decide on what to do with the uh, Sail Away Simulator and how to sort of fit it into my schedule. I'm looking to doing uh, at this point Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays. Uh, let me know what you think about that and if you think that that will work. Um, I definitely want to get some racing going, so if you have the game, then hit me up. Leave a comment down below. Let's figure out a time we can get some races going. Um, other than that, like, there's not much else really to do or see or uh, to go unless we're exploring some of these areas, which is fun, and I, I find that exciting as long as, you know, as long as there's something to see. I'm sorry, I was yawning. I, see, I don't see how I ran the ground there. Help me, please. Where's it put me? It put me all the way back here. I teleported up here. Try to make the ribbons. Let's 
3.2 now. We're really we're booking now. Let's see. So right over here is where the Sydney Opera House would be, right? Right on this point. So the point that we see over there is where it would be. Of course, it's not there, but uh, maybe that's something that'll come later. Um, I don't really know what to do at this point. Um, we could sort of turn down in that zone. But I'm afraid we we'll hit the shore again. So uh, maybe we just call it an episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking us out. If you like it and want to see more, then by all means hit that like button. Uh, subscribe and it comes up. I'll find something a little bit more, probably a little more prepared, I guess. I, I was trying to be prepared. I didn't realize it was going to hit the ground every 15 seconds before. Uh, so uh, we'll try to figure out something to do for Thursday. If you have suggestions, let me know. You live on the ocean, you want us to sail by your house, then... then <laughs> Let me know. Uh, don't tell people where you live on the internet. That's not safe. But uh, and maybe you've been someplace before and you want us to sail by. Let us know. Uh, I was trying to do um, some Southern California stuff, but it just got too dark on me, and uh, that didn't work out. So, uh, all in all, this is kind of a bust for a recording session. I I do appreciate you guys checking us out and leave me some suggestions on where you want to see me sail next time. Maybe we'll try one of the other boats. Or maybe we'll try a race or a challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.